So this is our big science tube plane. Now, we make a brilliant paper aeroplane in the shape of a tube. It looks like it's not going to fly, but it flies really, really well. Now, this is one of our favourite experiments to do because all you need is one sheet of A4 paper. So we've got one piece of A4 paper and we're going to fold it into our tube plane. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to fold your paper about a third of the way along. Back there like that. And you need a nice, clean fold there. Then the next fold we make is we fold this bit down to this bit of paper here. A bit to there. And again, a nice, clean fold along there. And then we do that one more time. So we take this bit here, so this bit here. It starts getting a bit trickier because there's more bits of paper now. That's a bit. And again, we need a nice, clean fold. So it should now look like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just run this edge here along the corner of a table. I'll just quickly use this here. And you can see it's given it a nice curve shape. Now that's going to help us turn this bit of paper into a tube. So we've got, so we've got our piece of A4 paper with a slight curve in it. Now, what you're going to do is you're just going to carefully undo that last fold like that. And then we're going to turn it and bend it into a tube shape. And this time we're just going to take this bit end here and we're going to slide it into that gap there. Just at about maybe an inch or an inch and a half. And then we can just make it into a bit more of a tube shape. And to make it a bit more secure, I'm just going to turn it up like that. Now this is quite fiddly because we're going to refold that last fold. So we can just see that faint line there, just from where the two bits of paper join, fold it in like that. We're just going to work our way back along the tube. It is quite robust. Let's just fold it back in, fold it back in, fold it back in. There, go. Make it into a bit more of a circle shape, get that nice and clean fold. There we go. And there's one more thing we do, we want to just turn it over. We can just see that this bit opens. We're just going to give that a tiny little fold and take that fold all the way along. Okay, just securing it all up. And now it's all nice and secure like that. And to throw your tube plane, there is a really important thing that you need to remember. You have to make the tube spin like that. So you can throw it over arm like an American footballer. That's what they do. They spin the ball like that so it flies for further. Or you can do what I did and you can twist it as you throw it like that and it'll fly much further than if you just threw it normally. Now that happens because of the spin. The spin stabilises the tube plane so it can fly much further than if you don't spin it at all. Now remember, we'd love to see you trying this at home. Do crazy designs on it. again. My